I'm going to add an HDMI port to my Phantom Phantom 3 Pro controller. Here it is. And I'm going to show you the steps that I use to replace it. All right, here we go. So there are four screws here that you have to remove with an Allen wrench. Uh, I don't know what size it is, but it's a small one. And we just take these out. Now we're going to remove this plastic plate here and it can be a little bit tough to remove so we're going to use a little screwdriver here just to pop it up. There we go. With the cover removed we have these Phillips head screws holding down the USB circuit board. Uh, but before we remove those we're going to pull off these ribbons right here which are locked into place which have to be first unlocked by flipping these the ends up until they're pointing up as you can see right there like that. and this big one as well so now with all of them up these right here these ribbons can be removed and let's remove these ribbons you just pull them straight out like so So with the two ribbons removed, I'm going to remove these screws, these Phillips head screws, and then lastly, I'll pull that out as well. So let's take these out. Okay, now that the ribbons are out, the three screws are out, I'm going to remove the board. and. Pull off this last ribbon. Yeah, there you go. Now I'm going to install the new USB and HDMI board. I'll put the ribbon back first, the first thing I'll do. and I'll replace the three screws so the three screws are back in now I'm going to put these ribbons back in and lock them all down. This is still up, so I'm going to put all of these in and lock them down. tricky to get back in okay now with the ribbons back in I'm going to lock them all in place by pushing this down all the way like that these are just little locks and then the main one right here this is a little bit tougher to do but you can use your hand on this one there we go and there it is, and now the HDMI cover board goes on. Like so, and we just replace these screws. And that's it. And now you have HDMI.